Hi right, guys, I've just get these screens sorted out. Make sure I'm sharing the right one. Okay, so you should be able to see the trade station Elliott Wave suite on your screen now and hear me okay. Can you just check that? Let someone let me know, please. Cool. We're just going to give it hi, Rich. Hope your weekend's started off well. Just going to give it one or two more minutes before we get going. Because we did have, you know, over 50 registered and we only have 10 at the moment. So just uh, some people are still getting their breakfast, I presume. And on the West Coast, it's still pretty early. <laughs> Very difficult to get the right time to do these things. It's 5 p.m. here for me in Europe. Okay, we shall get going soon. Hi, Simon. Yes. Good day today. Went go karting today in the sun. It was a little warm. Lots of mini Alonzos getting in my way. Yes. <laughs> No, I'll I'll go through that call. That that's automatic when you do the wave count. Uh, while we're just waiting for a few more people to come in, I know Cole's already bought this. Um, what you need to do on you need to right click format analysis techniques, and then you've got wave five trade Elliott wave here. If you go to format, make sure the start bar is at zero. Okay. Make sure the start bar on the format is at zero. Then this analysis commentary right at the top here where my cursor is. If you click on that, you can click anywhere on the chart to isolate the wave count as it is there like that. OK, so as you can see with this one, we've got all this range bound period here. That's not a trend. That's a sideways movement. When we see a trend, we then look for the beginning of the trend. We isolate the wave count and then our probability zones box tops up because it's a specified area to do with the indicator sweep between wave two and wave three. Hi, Michelle. How are you doing? So let's go through. So this is the let's go through it now. Just just make sure we've got plenty of people in here. Yes. Good, good, good. OK, so this is. The indicator suite for uh, my Elliott Wave indicator suite and strategy for trade station. So we've already got it for think or swim. We've got over 100 people using it already there. So I've now developed the same thing for trade station. It comes with a four hour training boot camp, which I haven't recorded yet. So if you buy this today on the 17th and the 24th of September, I've got my two sessions where I'm going to do the boot camp live, record it, and you will get the chance to be involved in that, ask your questions and all that sort of thing. Okay, so what I wanna do first, um, you know, the, it is my strategy. Uh, some of you already know me from MTB Pro uh, that this swing trading strategy is very, very effective, very profitable. So what I've done is I put it into an indicator suite and we're developing we're developing it for lots of platforms, keeping it simple, getting rid of all the noise that's earlier wave and just sticking to the basics with some pullback zones, some high probability zones and a trading strategy that goes with it. 
So first of all, I just want to show you a couple of trades that have recently uh, finished. One of them is Revlon, a short. Um, we had all this noise up here on the, the top of the chart, and then we've had the big move down. And this is obvious, it's a bearish trend. So you isolate the wave count to start at this downward movement, and then you'll see the wave four in this, the red box here. Now these are the probability zones. So let's zoom in here on this actual trend. So we've had the wave one, the wave two, the wave three, all of these are automatically uh, put in by the indicator suite. You're just going to click and we're going to show you how to do that in a little while. Then the wave four pulls back into our pullback zones. These are probability zones. So the green zone, if it pulls back and find resistance in this case, because it's a short in the green zone, it's an 85% probability it's going to go on and make a new wave five. The yellow zone is 80% and the red zone is 75%. Anything deeper, it's too low probability and we're not interested. We also have the 6-4 moving average low, which is in the red moving average, which is a special moving average for entry positions uh, for shorts. And we have the 6-4 moving average high, which is the blue moving average for longs. We can also use these for trade management um, for trading stop positions. So the essence of this is we're looking for these high probability pullbacks into these zones. We're looking for resistance to form and then to move back in the direction of the main trend. And then we are trading that fifth wave. The fifth wave is the highest probability wave of an Elliott wave sequence. If everything else has happened before and all the other rules have been met, the wave falls pulled back into a good probability zone and turned back again, then the fifth wave is pretty much, you know, it's one of those 80% uh, probabilities that's going to go on and happen. So we want to get in on those trades and trade the fifth, as it were. We have a, a, a 535 oscillator at the bottom. And again, I'll talk about that on another example. I just wanted to show how effective this is. We've had the wave four pullback. We've entered uh, coming down through the 6-4 moving average low here, but also taking into account some uh, previous price action here. And then we've traded the short all the way down to the target zone. The target zone, we're going to do some real examples of those in a little while. It's about 120 to 140 percent of the height between the distance between three and four. And again, I'll show you how to do that. Very, very simple. Uh, another example recently on XEL, and I know, Michelle, you're a member of MTB Pro. You, I know you traded this as well. Uh, again, we've got uh, a previous trend. We've got uh, some support here, and then we've got a big move. Okay, so we can isolate the wave count down here, which I've already done. It measures the one, the two, the three. The wave four pulls back into our 85% probability zone. Let's zoom in. Pulls back into our 85% probability zone, finds support, starts to move back up again. As soon as it gets past this 6-4 moving average high, we look for the entry and we go long. Very, very simple. Uh, works for futures. I'm looking at something at the moment on ES, E-Many Futures. Uh, on the 60-minute chart, as you can see here, we've had this low. We've had a wave one, a wave two. It's and the, Again, I've isolated this. I can isolate it even further up here if I wanted to. Um, but again, you'll see that's a whole uh, trend down. Uh, so what I've done is just, just to clean it up, I've gone to the bottom of there and we started that trend. So what we have here is the wave three is formed and we're starting to pull back. So this automatic pullback zone just comes into play within this indicator suite straight away. As soon as you've got that wave three high, starts to pull back against there, and it'll automatically adjust if the wave three gets higher. And then we're looking for this pullback to come back into this zone. This zone is now static, unless it makes a new wave three high. So it's gonna pull back down. We're gonna look for it to find support in one of our zones. Find support, we're gonna look for the 535 oscillator down below to pull back between 90 and 140%. And I'm going to show you an example of that very soon. Once we've got those two instances occurring, we get find some support, 
we look for the entry for the long and it's usually outside of the six form we're going so it does move it does work on shorter time frames on futures forex and on stocks so w is one that we are just entered on friday we just entered this trade on friday um, again we've isolated the the bar count uh, by just by clicking so we're using using this uh, tool at the top here analysis commentary and we can click anywhere okay but we don't want to be clicking here this is all sideways movement what we want to be doing is we want to be looking for um, the start of this trend one two three four okay um, we, it, this is all noise here this is not trend we want to make sure with that we see this trend and we measure it and that's what this indicator suite is for we're measuring that trend and we're waiting for that pullback the pullback zones are automatic let's zoom in now okay so we can see the 535 oscillator here that's the highest point down at the bottom here we do a quick fib retracement and i will do an example to show you and then the wave four pulls back between 90 and 140 percent it just tipped here which is fine uh, we went uh conservative because of that but basically, we uh, went long at above this this pivot here. So we entered around about there on Friday. So this was our entry. So we're going ultra conservative. The wave force pulled back into this green zone. 85% probability is now going to go on and make a new wave five high. So the next thing to do, and we talk about this a lot in the boot camp, is look for entry. We're going to look at previous price action here, and we're going to put an entry above this resistance level here, outside of the 6-4 moving average high, and we're in the trade. Okay? There's a lot more to do with that. We talk about risk to reward and, and uh, alerts and a, a lot of other things, stochastics within the um the boot camp i just want to go through the basics of how the indicator suite works to find a target is very simple we're going to go a fib retracement from four to three back down to four and then we're just going to format it very simple and we're going to put 120 percent in there Get rid of all the rest. Don't want that. It's just a load of noise. Let's change them both to blue. Let's make them a bit. Uh, let's get them like this. Let's make them a bit thicker. It is that simple, that quick. Okay, so there's our target, if you like. These between 86.27 and 89.73 is our target for this uh, ultimately you know we'd like to get it to near 90 dollars, but we need to manage the trade once it gets to start to get to there but you know just in this trade on friday uh, good close on friday above the entry and now we're looking for the target and to manage this trade this is on the daily time frame you can trade uh, off the 60 the 15 the weekly the daily doesn't really matter uh, it works exactly the same so let's go now to another one bbt this not has not triggered yet uh, again we look at this this downward momentum here we've got the low i've isolated the bar count using the um, the analysis commentary down at the bottom clicked on it it's given me a wave count okay so we now have the wave count again i can click up here and it'll give me a bit of a false reading because we are not interested in this we're interested in this low and what's happened from there what's happening yeah we can click all over and it will give us different bar counts uh sorry the wave the the pullback zones that sort of thing okay let's go to snap done exactly the same now i want to go uh talk about uh, this the 535 a little bit more again so this is a potential short on snap now this in effect uh is quite a new stock it's been in a, in a downward trend since uh basically since it started um we've had the wave one the wave two the wave three the wave four has pulled back now into this uh green zone 85 percent probability 
We've t I've taken the fib retracement between the highest points on the 535 oscillator, which comes as part of is this indicator suite. I've done a fib retracement and I've done the 90 and 140% zone. As you can see, that started to crown now in that zone. We've got the 85% probability zone. It's just about to, it tried to come out of the six four moving average um, on on Friday, didn't quite make it. So now we'll be looking for a short entry on snap uh, just below that low. So we're going to be looking at something like, let's just put that in. I'm going to take account into these tops, into these highs here. So and I need to go below the whole dollar again, $14 there. So I need to go around about 1395, 94 entry there. Okay. I'm then going to do a quick fib retracement to get a target zone. So I'm going to go from the high of four, going to down to the low of three, back to four. Just do a quick format, put 120% there. Let's turn these to blue. Again, you can put any colors on there you want to. I prefer blue for targets. Let's make them a bit thicker. And then let's press OK. So let's zoom out a little bit. So this is where our potential target is for this short on snap. Our entry is just going to be below the $14. I can even put my stop loss on here just to show you. Here, just above the wave four, around about 14 1541. Let's change that to red for danger. Let's make it a bit thicker. Okay, so that's our stop loss. Some of you on NTB Pro will see my style straight away, exact, doing exactly the same thing as I do uh, on MTB Pro. So this now is snap. We've had the wave four pull back into this 85% probability zone started to move away. The the oscillator started to crown within our zone. Good high probability looking trade on snap now for a short going entry below $14 and the stop loss is just below there. I can work out my risk to reward now just to make sure I've got a, a good minimum risk to reward of 1.6%. So I'm risking 1% on my trading account balance. Okay, uh, so let's just move that there. I'm going to put in 1.6 there. 1.618 is my minimum. I'm going to put 2% in as well just to do. Okay, so I, let me just do that again. I want a different, that's a horrible color. Let's do green. Let's do yellow. Okay. So as you can see here, I've got the, I'm risking one percent between stop loss and entry. My minimum of one point six percent reward is even before the wave three low. We're about three percent down into the target zone. So good looking trade on snap. And these are the things you'd be looking for and using with this indicator suite. Suite these really good. Uh, looking potential trades here for this fifth wave, trading the fifth. Let's have a look at another one, WIT. Uh, this is not quite ready yet. But as you can see here, we've had this previous bearish trend. We found a bottom. We've started to move away. We've isolated the bar count again using this tool here. You know, we can click up there and it can show us uh, this downward trend as well. We've had the wave four in here. There was, a, there was a shorting opportunity there. We've had some corrective phases and we're on the wave four now. Okay. So the thing to do, let's just zoom in a little bit here and take a closer look what's happening with this. So the wave four 
is in this first zone, 85% probably. He's going sideways late last, last week. More importantly, the oscillator now is back into this 140 zone between the 90 and the 140, looking very good. We're now looking for some movement away from this wave for low and looking for an entry. We, you know, we're going to be looking for an entry above the highs of these wicks of these candles and outside the 6.4 moving average high. Very, very simple. I just, I've made this strategy and indicator suite simple. So just following the same basic rules all the time. You could, you know, this roughly is where the entry probably be 606 above the whole dollar mark as well. Let's format that line. Let's make it green for go. Make it a bit thicker. Okay. And uh, we're going to put our stop loss, potential stop loss in. So we could, we, you know, it's a bit early to put the order in yet because it made the new foot wave four low on Friday on that daily bar. But I'm just going to show this as an example of how simple it is. Uh, yeah, I mean, you don't have to change colors, but I, it doesn't take long. So now I've got my entry. I've got my stop loss. I'm going to put in my potential target now. Again, I'm using my fib extension tool here. I'm going to go from the low wave four, going to go to high wave three, come back to there, just quickly edit it because I haven't set the defaults. Um, I'm going to put 120 in there. Again, it's just repeat, repeat, repeat. It's nothing, nothing different every time following the same simple strategy that the and using the indicators and the tools already there uh, to get these high probability trades. So this is my target zone. Let's put my risk to reward in here. It's going to be a good risk to reward. This, uh, this is a good looking trade, actually. Um, let's just format that. One, let's put the minimum 1.6 in there, forget the rest. As long as it's above there, I'm happy. There's the 1.6, even before the wave three high. Very high probability trade. We could also go a little bit more conservative if we want to on that entry, uh, but you know, see how Monday goes. But again, it's that simple. Uh, we've got these uh, setups, the, the wave fours have pulled back into these zones, uh, and then uh, we are looking just to do a little bit of work, making sure the oscillator backs up the uh, pullback zone. We've then got to wait for that support to, to hold, to start to move away back into the main trend. Uh, and then we put our target zones on, our entry, stop loss. All of these things are covered in the four-hour training boot camp. And as I said, if you buy this um, today, uh, you will be a part of the live recording so i will be doing this on the 17th and 24th anybody that buys it after that time will just get the recording of the boot camp you get the chance to be there live and ask questions and really get down into using this uh, indicator suite um you know really well so i'm just going to do some more examples um this is one um all it's not quite ready yet uh, what i'm going to do i'm just just launching now wave5trade.com so everybody that buys the indicator suite whether it's for think or swim trade station ninja trader multi charts or whatever i'm going to have a members area for there and what i'm going to do two or three times a week i'm going to put in the results of the scans that i get for all of these types of trades for stocks okay and i'm just going to put them in there i i've got a very expensive scanner the data is um, nearly $300 a month. But what I'm going to do in that members area, I'm going to put potential longs and shorts. I'm going to do no work for you. All I'm going to do is put all those potentials in there, uh, probably on a Sunday night and on a Wednesday, that sort of thing, um, because these are off a daily time frame. Uh, so these, these, these will give you a start, an idea. And this is one of the ones that came up on the scanner I just ran now. Uh, on all as you can see we've got all of this chatter here all of this sideways movement not interested we're interested in a trend and then we're interested in trading the fifth wave of that trend so what we need to do is isolate it using our uh, analysis commentary tool just click on it it measures it automatically puts in the pullback zone 
We've got the 535 oscillator looking good. It's between the 90 and the 140. We're just about to get to our zone, and then we're going to be looking. To me, uh, if I just do a bit of analysis on this, I actually think this is going to find some sort of support around this level here. We've got this, we've got this resist support and resistance level here. So I think it's going to come down into this sort of level around about the $86, and it's going to find support. Once it does, hopefully, uh, we'll get the movement away, and we'll get look for a good trade on all um so you know there's lots and lots of different um opportunities there and this indicator suite makes it a lot more easy for you to do and even better than that i'm going to give you those scans i'm going to just put it in a members area for everybody that's purchased this I'm not going to do any work for you but i'm just going to put those raw data tickers that are potentially setting up for those fifth waves, okay? Um, so, and then obviously you can do your own work. So what I wanna do now is open up the floor. I'm gonna use this particular workspace here and ask you to look at any tickers. Uh, if you want me to look at any tickers for you. Oh, you're you're welcome, John. It does it does work, doesn't it? Yeah, uh, I know you you've got the thing called Swim. Uh, or you attended it. I don't know whether you bought it or not, um, but yes, uh, it does work. I, I, I developed this strategy. You know, I've been using it now for over twelve years. It works, and that's why I've developed it for these platforms because I've made it simple but I use it simply to make it work. So JDST you want me to look at. Let's have a look. Whoa, okay. <laughs> yes, I'll have a look at that in a minute, Simon. So, uh, right. Juno Gold Miners Bear. Let's let's really zoom in here because this is uh, okay. So we're we're flat at the moment. That's the problem with this. We're very flat um, on the grand scheme of things. Let's just isolate at the top here. See what happens. You can see we already had the opportunity uh, to go short um, here because we we've had this. We had this pullback and we've had the big move, we had the wave three, the wave four pull back into this zone. And then we've had the opportunity to go short. It's not been a spectacular short. Uh, don't get me wrong, but it, it's been there. You know, um, at the moment, we're now looking at this fifth wave cementing. So let's just just do a little bit of work on there. Let's just go from four to three back to four. I'm just looking for target zones really for this going to be looking for 120 let's make them blue let's make them a bit thicker okay so it's still not on its target zone if you are short on this uh, I would, you know, thirty dollars is a good, uh, good position for this. It's still looking like it's going down. Uh, you know, our entry would have been already. I want to zoom in a little bit more there just to look at where the entry would have been on on here. Um, so yeah, entry. I mean, stop loss above this way for it's not been back above there. So entry would have been coming out, especially on this type of. Um, this JDST, the short would have been around about 80 something. Um, yes, yeah. So the entry, we missed, obviously missed the entry here. Uh, that would have been coming out the 6.4 moving average. 
um, you know, around about here. Stop loss just above the wave four. And we're in decent profit, profit making position now. Uh, it's not really, it's tested the entry, but then we've had these lower highs each time. So this is a good, it's a meandering short, but it's still a short uh, and it still worked. Uh, at this moment in time, though, if you were to trade this, there's not long left. You're going to be shorting into support and then Another strategy that we talk about, and I'll be talking about during the monthly live support sessions for people that buy these uh, indicator suites. Uh, starting in October, I'll be doing monthly webinars, support webinars, and we'll be talking about other things like once it reaches the wave five, looking for a trend reversal. And I know some of you as part of MDB Pro have seen a recent trend reversal of trade of mine on brk.b which was very very profitable because once it finishes that wave five if it finds it wave five in that zone starts to move away there's that potential for the trend reversal there so at this moment in time i i wouldn't look in, be looking to trade this at this moment in time tsro why didn't that work there we go Yeah, thirty dollars is probably a good target for it, John. Yeah. Okay. Mm. TSRO. It's been a really, really um, this this bearish move has been very corrective uh, and I'll I'll explain that now and just to zoom in a little bit you can see here we've had the one two the three the four the short the five and then it's gone sideways yeah and then we've sort of come back into another little bearish trend uh, but this is this this came back and broke the wave one uh, there's not a lot really happening there. Uh, you know, let's just go down to a 60 minute, see what's happening, see if there's anything on that. So go to format symbol, go to 60 minute. Okay, not a great deal happening there either. It's, as I said, it's sideways. It's not a great stock to, to trade at the moment. You did have, um, there was a trade on this. Why is that not working? Oh, okay. So on the 60 minute, there was a recent trade. We've had this bottom here, one, two, three. So intraday, there was a great wave four, found support and a big move on the fifth wave. Perfect. Just shows you intraday as well as on the daily time frame. Great. If you can't see anything on a daily and you don't mind trading intraday, you can see something that's relatively sideways, but it's got a big range. Take a look at the intraday. See where these lows are. Isolate the bar count. Uh, is, you know, isolate the, the wave count. And, th you know, these things will pop up all the time. You know, we go back to, to here. Let's, oops, let's go back to here. Um, you know, we it's just so simple to click. And we got that wave four. It was a really, really good move. So any more uh, tickers before I make you a very special offer? Uh, okay, so we're going to look at BA and COL, and then that will be it. Let me just change the time frame back to daily. BA. Oh, that's plateau, doesn't it? So, let me just move that down here. So, very long wave three, okay? Um, it's made that high now. So, our automatic pullback zones have, in fact, been put on by the software. You can see the 535 oscillator is 
moving down towards zero okay there's still a lot of work for ba to do on this wave four pullback it's got to come back down into this zone so you know it's got to be down into i would say probably that sort of price uh around the 204 we got this um, pivot here um, and then you'll see the oscillator pull back between 90 and 140 percent let's zoom in and just do that very quickly so let's zoom in on the oscillator and we put the on the highest point the wave three to zero and then back and there we have our 90 and 140s. You can see some work for this to do yet and quite a bit of space to the 140 because this is a very high peak on the wave three, which gives us confidence when this does pull back into this sort of zone, we'll be looking for a long to go on BA. The uh, oscillator will be in that zone, Tina. So Tina Mark, that looks a good potential one to keep an eye on, but it's got to come back down into those zones. COL, the last one. Let me just move that down a bit. So I've got a lot of sideways action here, but this is when the trend really starts. Just here, okay? This is when the trend really starts, because this is all sideways. So we've had this wave four. It's not been a great one. Have we got any more sideways action? This is sideways here. Yeah. So we can isolate it here. Again, we've missed that opportunity. That's just... Um, when For those that have already got it, when you press the uh, analysis commentary box, you get the commentary box come up, close it before you can drag and manipulate the chart. So at this moment on COL, it just keeps going higher. OK, um, we, we can see when we've isolated counts after range bound periods. Uh, and by that, I mean something like. Let me just press that again. So this is a range bound period and then it's gone and this down here was as well. Because what we're what we're trying to identify is a trend and when a stock is trending, whether it's up or down, it will have a way for pullback. There will be some profit taking. When that ends, that fifth wave is the highest probability trade. It's not trending if it's going sideways, okay? It's trending if it's going up in this case. So, you know, at this moment with COL, you know, we've missed a couple of small opportunities with this, uh, but I don't see anything spectacular happening there at all. OK, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to bring over, I want to show you the. Um, it's going to bring over. So the order form at the moment is on this website. I'm just going to take the link. You're welcome, Tina. So this is the link here. At the moment, when you press get now, it's $399. Now, for the next 10 minutes, I'm going to take that down to $320. I'm going to do it live in front of you right now. Let me just pick the right thing. So I'm going to bring that over. I'm going to go to products. I'm going to edit the product. And I'm going to change the price to $320. But this will only be for the next 10 minutes while I'm live. And then I'm changing it back. Okay. Let me just update product. So that's now 320. Uh, give it a minute to change. And let's just make sure. Let me just refresh. Give it a minute. Sometimes take a minute to uh, to refresh. Control F5. Still not refreshed yet. 
as soon as it's live I'll tell you Okay, while that's refreshing and going up, uh, going down, I'm going to go back to. Uh, did anybody? Does anybody want me to look at um, any forex or anything like that? Or something different, or is it all stocks you guys are interested in at the moment? And ETFs. Uh, Don, there's no difference in the strategy um, at all. There's the, the, obviously, it's just the coding that's different, uh, and the um, on on think or swim, you can't have it clickable to uh, to change the bar count to, to change the isolation. The thing with with, with uh, this, you can literally click on and change it anywhere. Uh, so that's the only difference. Yeah, it works on futures as well, Carl. Uh, works on uh, forex futures again. Not, I'm really interested on the ES on the uh, on the 60 minute chart. The start of this wave four, it, it, it may fail, but this is looking good. Uh, if this pulls back down into this zone at 2460, um, there'll be a good long on ES there. Um, so very very yes, it's very good. me uh no it can't scan on uh so um the the data for these platforms like trade station think or swim is okay but it's not good enough to make the scans so what i'm doing that's why i've developed the way um the wave5trade.com website. So we're going to sell these indicator suites through there. We're going to have a members area. So I'm going to run my scanner uh, from eSignal uh, with the data that costs mo probably more a month than this whole indicator suite costs for life um, uh, because you need that uh, in-depth data to scan for these type of setups and then you know twice because so it's only on daily time frames that I'm going to do the scan uh, but on a Sunday night or a Monday morning before the markets open I'm going to put the results of those scans up so the potential shorts potential longs uh, for you guys to just to give you a head start but there'll be other stocks and futures and things that you're looking at that you'll want to do uh, we're going to have the monthly uh, live webinar support webinars so we I can look at tickers at the, uh, during that stage for you as well answer your questions and you know just like I have done with MTB Pro uh, um, my trading buddy it's about building the community I don't just want to sell you an indicator and leave you to it I want it to work for you you've seen this strategy uh, that I've developed work in MTB Pro and become very profitable. You know it works. Um, so what I've done is put it down into some software that you guys use so you can use it more often, not just when I'm in front of the camera or, or whatever. Um, so it's a really good tool to do that. Any more questions? Okay, guys, now it has gone live at $320, okay? So I'm going to do some more tickers for you, um, but I once I finish, it will go back to $399, uh, and that'll be it. It will stay there. This is just a one-off, you know, it's a launch offer. I'm doing this live demo to get people to get it and attend the live recording of the boot camp on the 17th and the 24th of September. So great opportunity for you guys to have this for TradeStation. Uh, 
yes, uh, Don, on the boot camp, I will show how to make the target zones, I to, how to isolate entry strategies, exit strategies, uh, a little bit of theory behind this this whole swing trading strategy itself. Everything. It's four hours with me live. And the one that we did for Think or Swim went very well. Lots of people asked lots of great questions and made for a good four hour boot camp, two hours each time. And then those that buy purchase it from then on just get the recording. Uh, yes, there is a replay of this. I am recording it, Arnie, and I'll send it out to everybody uh, that's uh, doing. So, Simon, uh, let's. Um, have a look at these for you. Um, w E N. Okay. So I'm going to try an isolation here. Um, it's probably not that great now. Yeah. I think you were probably isolating down here and we've you've missed the trade. There was a good tipped the wave four zone there. That was a big move, really big move. Then after the wave five, we've had this consolidation zone. So I've I can isolate there, but again, we've got no fourth wave now. We've just got to let that settle. Okay. Even if we go to the top here to see if we've got a bearish trend. We've had just the small correction and now we're into the bearish trend. So nothing on WEN at the moment. Uh, Vive. Or oh, do you want me to look at that on the weekly and daily? Sorry, I'll look at the weekly as well. Okay, weekly. Some longer term stuff. Yeah, so quite corrective here. And then we've had the big move. Uh, I would still keep an eye on this. Uh, the, again, remember the Elliott wave rules. The wave three has to be the longest. So this will have to start making some new highs. Uh, before this gets recalculated to be a wave three. At the moment, this move from wave two to that high was not longer than wave one. So it just needs to break this again, and the software will automatically change the count for you. Uh, and then, then you look for a pullback. So a bit early days, and as you can see on the oscillator, we're still peaking quite high, coming down low again. Uh, but I still think there's a lot more movement that on the weekly. Uh, let's leave on the weekly and do Vive. Ooh, now then. Oh, the website for to to purchase, sorry. Okay, this is the link to purchase. Yeah, and this, um, I'm gonna send you the link for the, it, we have launched it just for wave5trade.com. The members area is being built now. Again, this is all new, but it's all looking good. Uh, you'll, I'm doing some trade journals on there, uh, blog posts on how to use the software. Uh, so there's lots of stuff on there. So that first link was to purchase. The second link is actually the new website, wave5trade.com. Okay. Uh, where are we? Okay. So, Vive. Let's isolate. Oh, now we do have this wave four pullback. Again, even though I isolated back here on the left, it's recognized that this is corrective and this is the start of the trend. So we've still got some way to go on the oscillator though on the, on the weekly. I, uh, so uh, yeah, on the weekly on Vive, you're looking 
that that Simon has still got to pull back some more. So it's going to come deeper into this pullback zone on the way four. And if we actually zoom in here, this is the weekly, by the way, um, you can see really actually this consolidation zone here is ultimately where you'd probably look for the support for the wave four on the weekly and by the time it reaches that you'll see the oscillator pull back down into the zone the 190 to 140. Um, so Vive looking good on the weekly just not quite there yet let's have a look what it looks like on the daily So again, we're looking that we've left these zones on the weekly on our chart, which is always good practice, always good practice. Um, let's try and isolate. We're going to have to be around here somewhere. It's very difficult. This one is very range bound. Um, I wouldn't trade it off the daily purely because we've had this move and now it's gone range bound here. So for Vive, the weekly is definitely the time frame to trade it off Simon um, and just wait for that pullback. Uh, PBR was the other one. Doesn't look great actually uh, on the daily. We've got this range bound. It's literally, it's very corrective. There's no real trend. We keep coming up and breaking these pivots. It's measuring it correctly. The software is measuring it correctly. Great, Don. Thank you. You're in. You will get automatic emails coming through with your um, with the code for the software. You have to reply to the email with your trade station user number. And then we generate a, a license key for you so you can use it for life. Uh, and then you'll get an email inviting you to register for the uh, boot camp. Okay, on the 17th and the 24th. Welcome aboard, Don. Uh, so, yeah, uh, let's have a look at it on the weekly. Uh, it might look better on the weekly. Some of these longer terms will be good. Oh, that's a, just a big bearish trend. I don't like PBR at all, um, Simon. So it's quite a cheap stock, though. I can see why you're interested. Um, so the wave four, now some will say that's broken your rule, Paul. It's gone beyond the red zone. All of those candles were touching that red zone. It still counts. I'm not fudging it. They're hanging on to it. They're clinging on to that FIB level, okay? That Fibonacci level. They're clinging on to it. That's the support level. Now it's moving away on the weekly. Um... <laughs> Simon, you're not that... Uh, cheap <laughs> so on the weekly looking good i think you should already be in it you've got to be in it to win it uh if you're not you've then got to work out where your target zones are going to be so let's go from four to three back to four and let's put these target zones in uh because never say never you, there may be an opportunity if you've got enough risk to reward to get in on the high uh so there's the 120 and the 140 i've just i haven't changed them to blue i've just put them in there uh if you were to look for an entry just above the high of last week uh stop loss i'm just doing this very quickly so stop loss just below those lows uh, let's put a risk to reward on there Oh, you still got a decent risk reward to get in, actually. Let's put 1.6 on there, get rid of the rest. Okay, so the one, if, even if you were to go in above the high of last week, uh, around about 9.30-ish, something like that, 9.31, 
get your stop loss below there. This is off a weekly, so you, you've got to be prepared that this could take 20 weeks to reach target, okay? Um, so your 1.6 reward for your 1% risk is below the 120% and ran about the wave three high. So on the weekly PBR still looks pretty good, Simon, uh, and good cheap stock as well. So worth it may be even worth uh, purchasing some of that, of that, letting it play up and get a good return on there. Uh, so I'm going to do this last one, uh, PBR Urban, and then I'll call it a day. Okay. So we've got the high up here. This is the weekly. So on the weekly then, let's zoom in. We The wave four is just pulling back into the zone now. Now, don't forget, we are looking for an entry below the 6.4 moving average low. This wave four is very shallow at the moment. Uh, the, the oscillator at the bottom is still not quite where we want it to be. I think, and let's, let's be realistic, and we cover this in the boot camp as well. This is where this B pivot support, this resistance, this is where we need to find uh, the resistance for the wave four. It needs to pull back into this zone over the next three or four weeks and test the $25 level, then go short. So let's have a look on the daily. Again, just show you how simple this is to operate uh, this software. We don't want that. We want that. Just click on there. And as we can see on the daily, the wave four is still just touching there again. So uh, it, it worked. It, I, I trade it off the daily. Now we've got the both marrying up together. Let's zoom in a little bit on this area. Uh, again, it's a very shallow wave for we need to, for it to come up to test this $24, $25 level. Uh, and you will see that as well on the oscillator. Um, we need that to come back down. Um, you know, the wave for, yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, it's got to test this $24 level, Simon, I think. Okay. So is there any more questions before I go, guys? Not forgetting, I will change that back to $399 as soon as I finish off on here. If you can't pay by credit card but prefer to pay by PayPal, send me a private message right now in the chat with the email that is associated with your PayPal, and I will send you a PayPal invoice. If not, um, you can go to the link that I've put in there and it's $320 for the next two or three minutes uh, while I close things down and I change it back to 399. Uh, you can do this on a one minute call, believe it or not. We did a test on tick charts uh, on one minute for ES and it still works. So let's just, let's have a play. Go, uh, I, you, you, you've grabbed me here. I, I like, I like the idea. So let's go to one minute and let's have a look. Okay, so ES isn't probably the best example, um, but still, still, we can see. Um, okay, we've got a low here, wave three, wave four pullback, long to wave five. Simple. It's not rocket science, and that's on a one-minute chart. Okay, so we've got a uh, range-bound period here. Once it starts to move above the range-bound period, just isolate your bark out and wait for it to happen. Yeah, then the wave four pulls back, and then you go along to the wave five. This is on a one-minute chart. You're going to be very quick. <laughs> You're welcome, Carl. Again, it works. You, if you're going to do it live off a one-minute chart, though, you've got to be bloody quick, and you've got to recognize this as a range-bound period. As soon as it starts to break that range-bound period, isolate the bark out. Just watch it go. Let it form the one, the two, the three. Let it form the wave four, and then just go uh, and just do the quick scalp. Okay? It is crazy. I wouldn't recommend it because it's extremely stressful. 
um, but it does work. Okay. So I think that will be it, guys. So thanks very much. <laughs> yes, have a great weekend, Carl, and I will see you on the boot camp on the 17th and 24th because I know you've already purchased it and we'll, you'll, you've registered for the boot camp. And you're welcome, John. And thank you very much. Of course, it's a money maker. I know, Michelle, you're making lots of money off MTB Pro. Thank you. Thanks, Simon. Uh, I don't know. Uh, ATM machine. <laughs> yes. Uh, TS, uh, TradeStation, is it st it's standalone, I think. I don't know whether you can get it through Interactive Broker, uh, IB. Any Anybody know, guys, before I go? All ah, right, so you can link it via bridge uh, to your IB through Interactive Broker, uh, Tina Mark, through TradeStation. So Simon's just told me there in the chat, you can see it there, you can link it via bridge. So you can use TradeStation uh, on your in in Interactive Broker. Okay, thanks, Simon. I don't know everything. <laughs> There's too many brokers. <laughs> Okay, guys, so um, I'm going to call it a day there. I'm going to go and change the price back to 399 Enjoy the rest of your weekend. And for those that are, are in my Paul's pre-market prep live show every day, just bought it. Great stuff, Tina Mark. Well done. You'll get those emails and the invite. Thank you, Octavio. Um, those that are in my pre-market prep live trade room, I'll see you all Tuesday. We had some great trades on Friday. Uh, we'll, we'll keep those going. If not, you'll hear my dulcet tones on the MTB Pro live video every day. Have a great weekend, everybody. Cheers. Thanks, Michelle. Thank you. You too. Okay. Cheers, guys. Bye.